my gorgeous people and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so very much for clicking on today's video. Janelle Evans is no stranger to drama, but here recently she has been sharing her personal story and struggles over on Twitter. And let's just say it is a completely different story than what we watched unfold on Team Mom 2. All of this stems from a tweet that Janelle put out last week accusing a certain unnamed individual of swindling the internet out of money that was meant to go to her custody lawyer. She tweeted, instead of using that money for custody court, you got yourself a boob job. Wow, you played everyone on the internet. While Janelle did not name names, people started to speculate that she was actually referring to David's other baby mama, Olivia Leadham. Allegedly, Olivia raised over $6,000 in 2019 via a GoFundMe page in order to pay for a custody court lawyer who could fight to keep their son away from David. Now the interesting part is that same day that Janelle put this out, she also tweeted that she was on the hunt for a good custody lawyer. Because of this, fans continued to speculate that she had to be talking about David's other baby mama because back in 2020, people were accusing Olivia of using the money she had raised to get a boob job. When Olivia was asked if she did use that money to plump her bosom, Olivia denied the allegations, writing absolutely not not. I do have a conscience. I am the most honest and blunt person you'll ever meet. All of the money that was raised went straight to my attorney for him to hold and use for our case on our son. With that being said, things got real interesting when a Team Mom 2 fan actually called Janelle out on her hypocrisy. This person tweeted, instead of using all of your money on heroin, you could have been getting custody of your son, drugs or boobs boobs win. And this caused Janelle to become extremely defensive. She actually fired back to the same person tweeting, I swear if you do drugs for three months of your whole life, people will try and use it against you forever. There's a pending case going on. You're an idiot, but I'm not talking about my custody case. Janelle's statement about only using drugs for three months out of her whole life really rubbed people the wrong way. And several people called her out on this too, reminding her that even back in 2017 when she had her daughter Inslee, Inslee was actually born with THC in her system, which means that Janelle was actively using at least marijuana, if nothing else. I personally don't see using marijuana as a big deal. Now with her being being pregnant I'm not really sure like the side effects or anything like that but what I do know is in North Carolina where Janelle resides it is still technically illegal and considered a drug or substance still Janelle insists that her drug use had nothing to do with the reason why she lost custody of her son Jace she tweeted I gave my mom temporary custody when I was 17 it had nothing to do with drugs and everything to do with being a fearful little girl who felt like I would lose if I tried to fight against my mom. This past Thursday, Janelle continued defending herself on Twitter. Janelle claimed that Barb encouraged her to go have fun with her friends instead of staying at home with her son. At the time, Janelle stated that she thought her mom was just being understanding and allowing her to be a kid. Fast forward to now though, and Janelle really does think that her mom did all of this to trick her so she could get custody of Jay. She said after her mom gave her approval to go spend the night with a friend, she arrived home the next day to CPS in the driveway and someone saying to them, I don't know where Janelle is. She left and never came home. Janelle tweeted, CPS basically gave me the ultimatum, sign him over to your mom or he's going to go into foster care. Was I convinced or threatened to sign or did I really want to? Was that ever aired on TV? No. I'm sick of the truth being hidden from the public. I deserve my son back. Don't trust anyone with custody unless you truly can. As a 17 year old, with a court appointed lawyer, she did not care about my case at all and didn't fight for me. I should have fought harder, but yes, I was terrified. Janelle also insinuated that she was shown partying so much during the early years of Team Mom 2 because the show's producers encouraged her to do so. In her final tweet on this topic, Janelle informed her Twitter followers that she's now opening up about this because the little girl in her is still very hurt and angry. She wrote, haunting memories really suck and to think it's still happening, but I won't give up. 
Moving on, Janelle Evans has also been teasing about joining Todd Chrisley's class action against Katie Joy. She tweeted, I have lots of you messaging me about joining the lawsuit against Katie Joy with Todd Chrisley. If I had a lawyer willing to take the case, I would. Any suggestions? Leave them down below. I really hate to say this, but I kind of feel like Janelle's trying to get some clout off of this class action lawsuit. It's actually insane to me how big this class action lawsuit's grown just since the beginning when Todd Chrisley was just talking about it. In one of the most recent Chrisley Confession podcast episodes, Todd Chrisley stated he already had a few reality TV stars who were going to be going in on this class action lawsuit. I have a really good feeling that we may see some pretty big names in reality TV when it comes comes to this lawsuit because Todd Grizzly don't play around. He's definitely a go big or go home type of guy. When it comes to my thoughts on the class action lawsuit, I really don't know how I feel about it. A part of me feels like this is going to be a really big deal and that Katie Joy may actually have to answer for a lot of the things that she's done on her channel. But in saying that, it may also go the other way as well. And that's something that we all need to keep in mind. Number one, defamation lawsuits are hard to win. And no matter if it's a group of people in a class action or just an individual, it's going to be really difficult to prove that Katie Joy has defamed any of these people. And that's probably why Janelle even made this post asking for suggestions on lawyers because let's be real, at the end of the day, not that many lawyers are going to take on a case where the probability of winning is slim. But hey, I could be completely wrong and I really hope that I am. Of course, I will continue to follow the class action updates and let you guys know as soon as I do. I want to know what you guys think of all of this. Do you believe that Janelle will join the class action lawsuit and if so what will she even have defamation grounds for when it comes to katie joy let me know your thoughts in the comments down below also if you want to stay in the loop with everything going on in reality tv and social media please consider hitting the like button subscribing before you go and tapping the bell for post notifications that way you are notified every single time i upload i appreciate you all to the moon and stars and until the next time Bye, guys.